Hey there, it's Sarah aka The Mill Coach and welcome back for your next Epic Shit Challenge. So for the past several days, you've been working through different chunks of activities, right? different challenges. And did you know that they align with some of the work that I do with my one-on-one -on -one clients? They align in terms of the fact that I've been giving you things that take you through the triple D process. Right? Are you ready for the triple D? Right? I believe that you have to discover who you are, right? your strengths, your values, your passions, the stuff that you were born for, right? if you're going to do epic shit. Right, so you've been digging deep, right? You've been identifying your strengths. You've been thinking about, you know, those things that you do really well, right? Those choices that you make, all of that stuff. So you should be grounded in positivity about who you are, right? And you're going to continue to tap into that discovery, you know, for the rest of your life, right? Always pondering that question of when am I at my best, right? Then we've been doing some work around the dream. That's the second D, Right? And the dream is all about that perfect life, right? If you could do anything, your epic shit, what would it look like? What would it feel like? Who would be around you? What would the circumstances be? How would you be making a difference? You know, what does that perfect day look like? What does that perfect year look like? So you've been having some fun there. You've actually, even in some of the journal prompts, been asked to go there, right? That, that question even yesterday about the 65-year-old. Right. What would you want to be or who would you want to be when you're 65? That takes you into the dream. Right. And then the final area that I work with my clients around is in the design. It's like, okay, you have this big dream, but what are you going to do to do it, right? to move into action every single day? So this can be things like you know, stating some really clear intentions with deadlines, you know, smart goals, fun stuff, right? Tracking, accountability, systems that make things work really well. Right, so the thing that you did at the beginning of the week where I said, all right, figure out what the you know, top five things are that you have to do, that's a part of your design. Right, so over the next couple of days, we're going to continue to do the work here. Right, so today, we're going to kind of pull in all of them because I want you to think about 2016. I want you to first be grounded in that strength, right, the things that you are amazing with. And I want you to grab a piece of paper and make four quadrants, right? So draw a big square, line down the middle, then half it again, right? And then I want you to label each of the quadrants. The first one is going to be winter. The second one is going to be spring. The third one's going to be summer. And then you're going to have fall, of course. And then I want you to go to a place where you can do some, you know, connection to spirit, some connection to your breath, some connection to your body and the things that, you know, are you. And then I want you to ponder this question. What do I really want this winter? What do I really want this spring? What do I really want in this summertime? And what do you want this fall? And I want you to come up with at least three things for each category. Consider your mind, your body, your spirit, your relationships, all those things, right? If you wanna go travel somewhere, if you wanna have you know, a big experience, you know, whatever's big for you, I want you to write it down and then I want you to post this baby where you're going to see it so that you can continuously stay focused on those things that you said felt good and that you wanted right now, right? And you can always go and revise things, right? But I want you to draw a line in the sand today about the things that you want in 2016, right? And have fun with it. And if you'd like, snap a picture and post it in our Facebook group, right? So it's all about making some intentional, you know, Statements. What do I want? Declaring it, giving it some voice. All right. Thanks for coming back for another challenge, and I hope to see you back here again tomorrow.